Welcome to the University of Calgary Point of Care Ultrasound Tutorial on Forearm Nerve Blocks. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to perform ultrasound-guided regional blocks of the radial, median, and ulnar nerves at the level of the forearm. These forearm blocks are great for fractures or lacerations at any level below the wrist. By doing these quick blocks at the level of the forearm, you don't have to worry about missing the very superficial branches of the nerves. This ensures a more complete block for your patient. Additionally, patients experience less discomfort when the block is performed at the forearm rather than at the level of the wrist or the hand. Here is an image to help orient you to the relationship of the structures that we will be imaging. This image shows a cross section of a right mid forearm looking from distal to proximal. Note that the radial nerve is radial to the radial artery. Likewise, note that the ulnar nerve is ulnar to the ulnar artery. As expected, the median nerve is between the two structures. What is important to point out is that the depth of the median nerve relative to the other two will vary from patient to patient and based on the level at which you are imaging the forearm. I suggest looking deeper first and then looking more superficially if you have not located the structure. In order to perform the block, you will need a 3 to 10 mil syringe, needles, recognizing that a smaller needle is more comfortable for your patient, but a larger needle will be easier to visualize on an ultrasound machine, an anesthetic such as xylocaine or bupivacaine, sterile ultrasound gel and probe cover, as well as something to clean the skin with such as alcohol or chlorhexidine. You will also need a high frequency probe. To set the probe up on our machine, hit the exam button, scroll through to the nerve setting, and hit select. Before we begin, a few points about imaging superficial nerves with the ultrasound machine. Here is the basic structure of the nerve. We will be attempting to inject anesthetic around the nerve without actually puncturing the epineurium. If you feel resistance as you inject, back out and try again. Resistance could mean that you are injecting into the nerve, which would be bad. Because of this structural arrangement, nerves look like honeycombs when imaged with the ultrasound. They also display a property called anisotropia, which means that they are brightest when the ultrasound beam is directed at 90 degrees to them. This means that if you think you should be seeing a nerve but aren't, try tilting your probe ever so slightly to see if the nerve pops into view. Now that we've covered all that, let's begin. We'll start with the radial nerve. Ensure that the probe marker is pointing radially. Identify the radial artery at the level of the wrist. Trace it proximally until the midforearm. The radial nerve will be radial to the radial artery. Slide the probe in the ulnar direction to identify the median nerve. Then slide back. Now, Slide the probe a bit to the ulnar side of the forearm to place the radial nerve at the edge of the screen. Using your dominant hand, insert the needle on the radial side of the probe using the in-plane technique. The in-plane technique will allow you to watch the needle as it advances towards the nerve, helping to ensure that you do not puncture the epineurium. Hydrodissect the tissue planes. You will need to inject about 2 to 5 mils of anesthetic. Attempt to get all around the nerve with the fluid, though sometimes you may not be able to completely. Now wait just a few minutes, and then you can be amazed at how well this block worked. Next, we will cover the median nerve block. This nerve is often blocked in combination with either the radial or ulnar nerves. The median nerve is embedded in the muscles of the volar compartment. After you identify the ulnar or radial nerve at the level of the mid forearm, increase the image depth by 2 cm to locate it. Once you have identified the nerve, slide the probe sideways to place the nerve at the edge of the screen. As before, insert the needle in plane at the edge of the probe. Advance the needle slowly. Aspirate for blood. 
and inject 5 to 7 mils of anesthetic around the nerve, dissecting the tissues with the fluid. Once you're done, wait just a few minutes and once again be amazed at how well that worked. Finally, if you'd like to block the ulnar nerve, the process is identical to blocking the radial nerve. Simply identify the ulnar artery at the level of the wrist, trace it proximally, and look for the ulnar nerve ulnar to the ulnar artery. Then perform the steps as for the other nerves. Well, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for your attention.